Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Yunks. Today, I'll be showing you guys Praetorian Foil. This is a Bolt of Glass fusion rifle. If you haven't seen my Sword Breaker video, I do mention in that video that I will be covering Bolt of Glass and Crota weapons just to kill some time between now and Rise of Iron, just for some fun. So yeah, let's just get right into the perks on this thing. So this is solar damage. And for the sites, I run red.ores. We have glass half full. The bottom half of each mag causes additional damage. Now in the middle we have perfect balance, accelerated coils, and send it, increase range and accuracy. Now all these choices are pretty good, I go with perfect balance. Now we have reactive reload, reloading this weapon after a kill grants a damage bonus for a short time and for the last perk, Oracle Disruptor, this weapon deals bonus damage to Oracles in the Bolt of Glass. Alright, now before we get into it, I do want to mention this is a low charge rate, high impact fusion, very similar to Dark Blade Spite. Anyway, let's take a look at the aesthetics. Alright, this thing does look pretty cool. Let's just get right into the gameplay. So there will be no alternate footage for the Praetorian foil since this is a year one weapon. If you're new to this channel and you do not know what I'm talking about, it's just a little PvE DPS test that I do for every weapon that I cover. Of course, against the Ultranite in the Dreadnought. Anyway, before we get into PvP, let me tell you guys real quickly how you can get this weapon for those of you who do not know. You are going to have to destroy the oracles on hard mode. That is right before the Templar, and it has to be on hard mode just for a chance to get this fusion rifle. Anyway, let's get right into PvP. Praetorian Foil will deal 50 damage per projectile, and there are 7 projectiles in each shot. So you will have to land at least 4 of those projectiles on your enemy in order to kill them with one shot. Now let's say you're running accelerated coils on Praetorian Foil. Now you will deal 48 damage per projectile, so your projectiles to kill are going to increase from 4 to 5. So you're going to have to be more accurate now and you are losing out on potential range or stability of course from send it or perfect balance if you are running accelerated coils. Me personally I do not think it is worth it, that's just me though. I think having that stability or even the range is definitely going to be a bit more beneficial than having that slightly faster charge rate. If it fits with your playstyle however. Go for accelerated coils, but me, I am fine with the charge rate as is. I know it's slow, but I could definitely make it work. Now, let's talk a little bit about Glass Half Full on Praetorian Foil. It's not game changing. On the very last shot in the mag, you will deal an extra 3 damage, so you will be dealing 53 damage per projectile. Now, it's not going to change the projectiles you need to kill. So nothing special there, at least for PvP. Now let's talk a little bit about Reactive Reload. This is a little bit more game changing. Let's say you get a kill, you reload your weapon immediately after and shoot somebody else. You will deal 67 damage now per projectile. Now that is quite significant. Now it'll only take three projectiles to kill your enemy. But remember, Reactive Reload will only be active three seconds when you reload shortly after getting a kill. So how often is this going to come into play? Probably not that often, but when it does, it could definitely be quite deadly. Anyway, go ahead, leave in the comments, guys, do you have a Praetorian foil? And if you do, what do you think of it? And do you still use it? If not, would this be a weapon you would want from the Vault of Glass? Let me know. Overall, I did have a great time with Praetorian foil. This thing does hit hard, so kills came fairly easily with this fusion rifle. Of course, I did have to pre-charge this around corners, at least for the most part, and really just predict when and where the enemy was going to be due to its slow charge rate anyway that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and go ahead and leave a sub if you haven't already if you want to see more weapon reviews similar to this one i'm always covering weapons here in destiny anyway guys i will see you next time